guys and welcome back to my youtube channel guys i'm so excited to be here again and yeah in my previous video i spoke about um what you expect on this channel and i also gave a brief introduction about myself and guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about um, affordable skincare products for beginners okay so if you're one of those dancing out on your skincare journey and you're looking for products that you can actually use affordable products can actually use without breaking the bank yeah guys looking for that this video is for you and do so well not and do so well to like this video share and also subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and also leave your comments telling me what you feel about this channel and also telling me about what you think and also leaving out your own suggestions because guys we are all learners on here okay now let's dive into the video so guys <laughs> the first thing that you need to know as a beginner when you're starting as you're starting your, skin, your skincare journey is that make sure you get products that are affordable yeah guys make sure that you products that you get are products that are affordable products that when you are done using it you can actually buy again not products that you buy them and just fat you have to even save so much money to even buy I, at the end of the day when you want to buy another one again you have to start saving more money and which is not making sense at all because consistency is key when it comes to using products because if you're not consistent using a product you might not see the work okay so make sure that when you're getting produce you're getting produce that you can actually afford and it's actually what you can actually get anytime it finishes not something that you have to break a bank for you don't want products like that you want to get products that you can actually afford and yes make sure the products you're actually getting which is my second tip is actually accessible make sure these products are actually accessible because you would want to get products that are very accessible and not products that you have to travel miles away just to get or products that you would have to um have to start paying so much money to get it down to where you are you would not want that you want to get products that are very accessible and you can actually get within your environment or you can actually get anytime you actually need them okay so guys it's all said and done now let's dive right into the products that you actually need now i'm going to be i'm going to start talking about the first one i'm going to be talking about i'm going to start talking about um i'm going to move from the from the body if i go over to the skin because we need lesser products from the body than the face rather so you guys i was supposed to say the body and the face and i said the body and the skin so i'm going to first of all talking about products that you actually need for your body before we move over to products that you actually need on your face okay so guys for the products that you need on your body the first thing i'm going to be talking about guys is to get a sponge i know that there is this thing about some people when they use sponges they tend to itch all over and some react to sponges well if you are one of those people then maybe you should leave that out but if you are not one of those people and you don't react to using sponges on your body then you can actually try to get you actually start by getting a sponge and one sponge i actually recommend is actually this exfoliating gloves i'll leave a picture on the screen exfoliating glove because that particular glove doesn't also serve as a sponge it also serves as a physical physical exfoliator because guys um exfoliation is something that you need to actually incorporate in your skincare routine either you're doing the physical exfoliation or the chemical exfoliation okay so make sure that when you are actually using something make sure you actually make sure that in your skincare routine you actually have a day or days in which you exfoliate your skin okay because that is that is one way in which your skin product your skincare products can actually work if you're not exfoliating your skin guys all the things you've been doing all the things you've been applying is just like a waste okay so you will need a scrub so that exfoliating gloves actually serves as a scrub if you may not if you may not be able to afford um a scrub okay so another apart from the exfoliating um sponge so another thing again that you need for your skin is your body wash or your bar soap so guys some people who are some people are fans of bar soaps and some people are fans of body washes so it all depends on the one that you actually like so the one you actually prefer so if you're a fan of body washes well a body wash i recommend is the dove body wash guys dove is so good because those body washes tend to leave your skin moisturized like you're coming out of the shower and your skin is not feeling dry your skin is actually feeling all moisturized and 
and you're actually loving it and dove is something i recommend for those who have a dry skin now for another body wash again i recommend is the palm olive palm olive is equally good so it's actually a very lovely body wash and i think um dove is around between one five to like two thousand then um palm olive sorry the palm olive also is within the price range of one five to like two thousand but it all depends on where you're actually going to get them from all depends on area now another one again i'm going to actually recommend is now okay those are the only body washes that i think i know of and but if you have any other body wash that you know of, you can actually leave it down on my comment section so another um now let's move over to bar soaps or body soaps whatever it's being called so one again that i should recommend is the dove bar soap dove beauty cream bar soap guys that soap is so good because it tends to leave your body moisturized like it leaves your skin moisturized and you can actually use it on your face too. you can actually use it as your face soap too if you don't have money buying a face soap and also um, a different body soap you can actually use it as both your face soap and both your body soap also so you don't have to like start buying different soaps for different parts of your body so and another thing again, another soap again I'm going to actually recommend, another bar soap is Dudu On Shoe. Guys, Dudu On Shoe is so good. Like, if you're a fan of black soaps, you would actually want to use Dudu On Shoe. And guys, some people don't like black soaps because they feel like black soaps tend to leave their skin all dried out. And some say that black soaps tend to um, sting their face or, uh, or something like that. I don't really know. But if you're not someone to use black soaps, then maybe you should go for Dove. But... I personally prefer black soap and one black soap I'll actually recommend is the Dudu on Shoe black soap, okay? And it's within the price range of 450 to 500 like it is very cheap. It is not even expensive at all. Like I've been using Dudu on Shoe from when I was a child and it has really been good. And I'm still using it up to now, guys, and Dudu on Shoe is still good. So another soap again I recommend is the Palm Olive Bar Soap. That soap is actually equally good too and it's not so expensive okay so for the dove dove is actually um i think within the price range of 900 naira and so like 1000 then the palm olive is within the price range of i think um the same price with dove i'm not so sure so guys another soap again i actually recommend is the ashanti guys ashanti is actually a very lovely soap you can actually use for your both your body and your face also and ashanti is within the price range of i think 450 to 600 naira and also another so bar soap again i recommend guys is a nano extra white and that one is specifically for people who are fair skin you can actually try that one out it's actually equally good awesome now guys let's move over to body lotions guys when it comes to body lotions you have to make sure that the body lotion you're getting is actually moisturizing you don't want to go and start getting body lotions that will just end up leaving your skin dried out or making your skin look all cracked and making it look like you've not even used any lotion on your body most lotions you're supposed to get are lotions that are actually moisturizing okay you don't want to get lotions that are not moisturizing and one lotion i actually recommend is the nivea body lotion guys nivea is so good and nivea is very is very moisturizing and guys when you're getting nivea make sure you get nivea that is original don't go and start buying fake okay because there are so many fakes out there so when you want to get nivea make sure you actually get nivea that is actually the original nivea not the fake nivea okay and nivea is within the price range of i think with the way things have increased right now nivea is within the price range of i think three thousand so i think five thousand if i'm not mistaken then another body lotion again i'm going to recommend is the dove dove also has a body lotion and it is actually equally good as nivea and it is also moisturizing now another body lotion again i'm going to recommend apart from the dove and the um nivea is also the only only is actually equally good too we have only we have revlon we also have jeggings it's actually equally good and also the Vaseline brand too also have lotions and they have lovely lotions for different skin types and they have great affordable lotions so you can actually try out you don't want to go and start looking for lightning lotions that will bleach your skin and then to make your skin look all bad like causing your stuff stretch marks and green things you don't want that you want to get lotions that will moisturize your skin and tend to help your skin glow okay now apart from body 
eye creams or body lotions now another thing again that you need for your body is your scrub guys either you're exfoliating either you're doing the ex physical exfoliation or the chemical exfoliation one of the two since chemical exfoliating or chemical exfoliation is a bit or getting um chemical exfoliants which are in the form of lotions or serums or whatever are a bit expensive so you want to go for scrubs now a very um lovely scrub i would recommend guys is the caribou i have caribou scrub over here so this is caribou caribou this is one i use i use caribou scrub I don't know if you guys can see it. It's caribou scrub. Caribou scrub is actually very lovely and it's within the price range of one five to two thousand. Now another scrub again that I'm going to recommend also is the Q Q body scrub. I used to have it, but it's finished right now when I chew the, I chew the, pack away. So that one is also within the price range of one thousand to one thousand two hundred. Like that scrub is very cheap. But if you know you don't have money to buy scrubs, you can actually use your exfoliating sponge like I said in the beginning of this video. Use your exfoliating sponge and that one is equally good. So guys, we're done with our body now. So let's move over to our face, okay? So now for your face, you can actually make use of a body... Um, my body oh sorry of a face soap now a face soap i recommend actually i said before we can actually make use of your dove on your face or your doodle on shoe on your face but if you're actually wanting to get a separate you know if you have the money to get a separate um cleanser or a separate um face soap can actually try out um the one i actually love a lot is this tea tree cleanser guys it's so good like it's foaming cleanser rather it's so good that's the one that i actually use and it's really good and i'll recommend it for you guys now another one again so apart from now i'm done with um body i'm done with face soaps and make sure sorry guys yeah back to face soaps make sure you get face soaps that actually that not just leave your skin or make your face dry dried out you want to get face soaps or face cleansers rather that would still that would cleanse your face but not leave your face dried okay and i think the simple um simple product also has a face a face cleanser which is actually good and is suitable for those bits oily and sensitive skin yes some products are so good and i recommend simple products any day anytime now another thing again you need for your face guys once you're done making use of your facial of your face cleanser or your face soap you will need to actually use a toner but toners are not something that are so essential or something that you can use something i use every day but if you're actually looking for an everyday toner or you just want to incorporate toner in your skincare routine then you can actually try out the um the brute traditional glycerin and rose water toner that toner is actually very good and it moisturizes your skin and leaves your face so clean and bright so um the boots roots um boots root, the boots traditional um um glycerin and rose tuna is in the price range of one five i think one thousand to one five or one seven i'm not all there about i'm not so sure but another toner again that is equally good and it's actually actually leave your skin glowing and nice is the simple facial toner simple facial toner is within the price range of two five if i'm not mistaken another one again is this one called the vid gold vid gold is actually is equally good also this was the one that my sister was using and this is the vid gold um black charcoal cleansing toner this toner is actually good and doesn't like bleach your skin or leaves your skin a certain type of way okay now guys another um now i don't mean toners now another thing that you would need for your face after your toner is your serum guys everyone needs a serum serum is something that you would need for your skin now serum is so good because serums tend to remove any sign of any sign, signs of aging and it also tends to leave your skin glowing and bright and it also it also helps to um fight against um fine lines yeah that signs of aging and also um uneven skin tone too also helps a lot guys and a serum i actually recommend is the pine serum so guys this pine serum i was actually this was the serum i was using before before it got finished and i got this one for i think one five yeah and it's actually very affordable this pine vitamin c serum now vitamin c serum is an antioxidant or vitamin c is an, is an antioxidant that is very that is very good and is needed for your skin now another tone another sorry another serum again i'm going to recommend guys is the 
Dr. Vasho. So Dr. Vasho is what I'm using right now. And Dr. Vasho is, I got Dr. Vasho for, I think, 2,000 Naira. And Dr. Vasho is actually good also. So this is Dr. Vasho um, facial serum. Now another facial serum again that you can actually get, if you cannot get this too, is the Roshan. Roshan is something as, it's like piney but it's as equally good as all these serums also and version is around the price range of 2000 naira. so another thing again that you will need on your face guys is your face cream okay you need a face cream guys you need a face cream now one face cream i recommend guys and the one i'm using right now is the dr rachel i just love dr rachel products because i don't know why <laughs> because they contain um vitamin c product so i really love dr rachel vitamin c so this is what i've been using right now and i think it's within the price range of i think 2000 or 25 can't really remember how much i got it for guys dr rachel face cream is equally nice also now guys another face cream again i'm going to recommend you for you guys is the goji berry guys goji berry is equally good goji berry is actually good on the face and goji berry is in the price range of i think 2000 to 25 within the same price with you dr rancho now guys if you want to go for something on the high side now i actually tried out this face cream guys and it was very good on my face now this is the neutrogena bright boost gel cream hmm guys i really loved it a lot so if you're someone that can actually afford something within the price range of seven thousand to ten thousand naira, okay you guys actually go for this but guys this is actually expensive but since we're actually talking about things on your budget you know i recommend the fact i would recommend dr rachel and also goji berry and guys you can actually try out the vid gold i haven't tried out the vid gold before but i heard that vid gold um facial cream is actually good and simple also has a facial moisturizer and it's also within the price range of 25 and if you know you have a sensitive skin and also have an oily skin you can actually try out the simple product okay now guys apart from facial creams guys the most important now okay guys we also have facial oils and body oils too and if you're not someone who loves creams especially on your body you can actually try out you can actually make use of a body oil and guys and one body oil that i love a lot is the dessert oil and the one i use is the vitamin c they also have different brands they have the almond oil the castor the jojoba the avocado oil depending on the one that you see or the one that you actually prefer but well, i personally prefer the vitamin c oil and this oil is so good we have other brands and with different oils but the dessert is very affordable this is within the price range of 1000 to 1005 like it's so cheap and if you're the only one using it it can last you up for a month if you're not someone who loves body lotions but and again if you're not someone i can actually also make use of body oils together with it um, also with your body lotion and body oils are good because they help to lock in moisture into your skin and if you're also someone who wants to try out oils on your face you actually have lovely facial oils you actually try out on your face so they also help to lock in moisture now guys the most important of all these things i've been talking about since morning that if you do not use guys it's better not for you to even use any of these skincare things i've been telling you to use since morning now is your sunscreen okay i know sunscreens are kind of on the high side and people are like what's the need of me using sun of me using sunscreens rather i don't go out or someone will be like mm, it's not important guys sunscreens are very important because guys hmm, one reason why you age hmm, so quickly is because of the effects that the sun has on you or has actually given your skin or the effect that the sun has on your skin you feel like oh the sun is just there guys see sun can cause a lot of damage on your skin if you're not careful from sunburn to um aging quickly and the rest of it so guys but we also do have affordable sunscreens guys we have the gavia sunscreen gavia sunscreen is i think within the price range of i think three thousand or so but the one i'm using right now guys this is king doctor sunscreen now guys this particular sunscreen is really affordable i got this for 2500 naira and it doesn't leave my face with a white cast it does not guys this sunscreen is so good honestly it is really really good you can see the sunscreen right now just a little goes a long way and doesn't leave your skin with a white cast but if 
unfortunately you can't find this in your area and the one that you can actually find is the one that actually leaves your skin with the white cast or leave white cast on your face on your skin then guys you can actually mix your sunscreen together with your moisturizer your facial moisturizer and apply it on your face okay yes guys so guys with this being the last product i'm going i'm talking about right now i've come to an end of my video of this i've come to i've come to the end of this video guys <laughs> i've come to the end of this video and guys don't forget to do well to subscribe to this video like and comment i know this video was equally long but i know it is for a good reason okay and guys my next video is going to be something you don't want to miss out because i'm going to be telling you what you will need for the products that you will need for products for different skin types and also how you should go about applying these products and using these products and you don't want to miss that it's all said and done guys i'll see you in my next video okay bye